Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I'd love to show you my lab setup for 0.15. So in this update, the devs have given us some interesting tools for being able to manage labs better, i.e. one of them is the uh, daisy chain uh, ability, which if you put down an inserter, of course, you'll get the beakers in the lab, but you can put down a second inserter to transfer, very much like how we used to do with boilers uh, in previous versions. So let's get rid of this. And I have built a lab design based on this concept, um, which is pretty darn handy, if I do say so myself. Uh, what we've got here is, and we're going to wait for the bot army to come and build this for us, but uh, what we've got here, we've got braided belts to enable us to take uh, four different lanes uh, up to the labs, which is pretty darn handy, I have to say. Um, and on those lanes, we can fit all eight, seven different science packs. We could even fit eight if the devs decided to add an eighth one. Um, but here they go. As you can see, the arms are moving and transferring all of these up into the higher labs. This design is tileable, uh, so you can keep on putting down tile after tile to expand this. Uh, I have also included beacons in the design to improve the lab speed um, at end game so that we, you don't have to have as many labs uh, doing stuff. Now the, the uh, labs themselves have productivity threes in them, uh, so it makes more use of the science packs, which is really nice. Um, but as you can see, you could just chain this on pretty much for quite a while until you'd have to build another array. I don't know the exact numbers, but it also depends on the science and how long it takes. Uh, see, these take 60 seconds to complete, uh, but you can have a hugely long array of these things uh, as long as you have the materials to build them. Yeah, these guys should be getting built. Come on, come on, bots, build them. Do things. You can do stuff here. I'll help you out and build some inserters. Um, so anyway, that's basically how to make this kind of a lab array. It is very efficient in terms of having lots of speed bonuses on the labs themselves. And, you know, we're sharing these, um, the speed beacons as well. So there you have it, the completed lab array. I hope you enjoy it. And you can also find this blueprint in my Google Drive blueprints folder, which is linked down below. Thank you for joining me. Take care.